Hey guys, so I'm back, kinda, sorta, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I have not been on YouTube for five, since Iris was born, since my baby girl was born, I have not been on YouTube. I had all these videos I had filmed, all these things I had planned, didn't even do them. I had my third trimester video that I wanted to put out. Um, her room tour that I still would like to do but yeah that took a while just because all of the pieces were in here and there were so many things that I wanted to do before I gave birth and then so many things I wanted to do with YouTube after I gave birth like I did not want to take a break and then when I took a break I didn't want to take a break for this long and then I was just like screw it like I'm done <laughs> so I decided to film today <laughs> I started to film this video when Iris was asleep, but now she woke up. So there's that. She's having a bottle right now. So when she's done with that, most likely she will be filming with me. I don't know how much I'm going to remember with her being on me, but I'm going to try to bring a toy in and um, try to entertain, keep her entertained. But let's do story time my labor and delivery story i think i want to start there before i want to get back into video um and filming videos just because i did i do have a couple of vlogs that i want to put out but i don't want to put them out until i do like a little story time as to what's been going on like where the hell have i been anyway um so let's get right into it i don't want to waste time so welcome back to my channel if you are an oldie but a goodie if you're new here welcome please do not forget to subscribe it's free so let's get started um so i gave birth a month i gave say a month ago i gave birth five months ago so november 5th is when i gave birth i was supposed to give birth november november 15th so she came 10 days early which was just yeah just lovely i just felt like she was gonna come early just because i remember prior to giving birth i was in so much pain i remember um feeling like i remember stopping with <clears throat> with cramps and stuff like that but because my um if you guys have watched any of my labor and i mean any of my pregnancy videos you guys would know that i just was having a lot of pain and i just thought that I was having just pains I don't know so it all started 5 a.m. it was was it a Saturday it was a Saturday um, 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning I went to use the bathroom and I remember just peeing just using the bathroom and I remember wanting to pee so bad and then I peed it was like the longest pee ever and then I got up and then like this pain out of no, you guys, it was like the most excruciating pain. Now, because our bathroom is like, like a hall bathroom, right? So I literally held on to the wall for dear life. Like the walls were like, oh, and out of no, it wasn't like I was, I was having pain going to the bathroom or anything like that. I just wobbled my way to the bathroom and when I stood up, your girl was like, oh my God, what the hell is this? I remember screaming my husband's name. I was just like, Derek! And he just, he knew. Like out of his sleep, he knew. And um, he was like, what's going on? What's going on? And he was just like, he knew automatically. So now keep in mind prior to all of this, I have had episodes where I was having contractions and whatnot because I thought that I was going to have Iris at 20 something weeks. Um, I was scared that she was going to come super duper early. Okay, hold on. Put your bottle in. Oh, Lord. here we are we have little iris i told you guys oh, i didn't i don't think i got to put did i get to i'm not sure when i did my um what's in my bag video i was like the next time i come on here i will have a baby <laughs> so 
So I put this bat on our head because we're about to head out to Sprouts and get some juice, pressed juice. And I thought she should have like something on her head, right? Yeah. You like the camera? You like the camera? Yeah, hold on. I don't know, started speaking baby. Here you go, baby. You want that? You want to chew toy? Hmm? Want to chew toy? Good job. Yeah. So we, after that, we called uh, two people. We called, I called my aunt to let her know that I was in labor. And she was just like, you need to go to the hospital right now, immediately. And I was just like, but I have time. <laughs> I remember, I don't know why I'm thinking in my head that I have time. And um, I was like, I'm about to be in labor for days. Like, I just felt like I was going to be in labor for a really, really long time. I, I knew, I, I felt two things before giving birth. I felt I was going to have her early. And I felt like I was going to be in labor for a really, really long time. And one of the two things happened. <laughs> so, um, so we, when I think it was like 20 minutes of just laying in bed, the first, uh, we had the first, I had the first contraction and I lay down in bed. I called, um, my aunt and then I called my mother-in-law. We called, um, Derek's mom to let her know that, um, I'm about to get birth. She was just, for some reason, it's like everyone was just waiting. And, um, she was just like, everyone was just super excited, you know, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, you know, I'm going to be here for a long, long time. I'll let you know, like when we get to the hospital, all of that stuff. So after the, that was in that 20 minutes. So after that, I decided to go shower, shave, all that stuff to get done, to go to, to, um, to the hospital. You guys, when I said, when I get in the shower, I was like, it was like contraction, contraction. It was like, I was having a contraction while in the shower. And then when I thought it was done, I was having another one immediately after it was it was all very intense as soon as i stood up i was like in all of this pain i could not tell me why i halfway sh i like halfway shaved my body because like only, i only was able to do half of anything that i wanted to do so i was like forget i have to get out of here thankfully i already had my bag packed because i did that early i don't know if i remember telling you guys that i feel like i need to do this early um, at the time I was still like, at the time when I packed my bag, I think it was like 36 weeks. So I still, yeah, exactly. So I still had, um, time, but I just was like, cause I didn't have her until two weeks later, like 38 weeks, almost 39, 38 weeks in five days. So I, I had her at almost 39 weeks, which is te technically full term. Anyway, so, um, where was I? I'm sorry. So I was in the shower, like I said, couldn't get anything done, done, brush my teeth. Couldn't even brush my hair because I looked deplorable. <laughs> I looked, I was in so much pain. And my cousin was here at the time. She stayed until I gave birth. Um, she's an ICU nurse, which is amazing. And um, she was able to like, while we were in, we went in, she, you know, her plan was to get everything done and, you know, do everything at the house and bring everything that we need, blah, blah, blah. So that was great. We drove, well, three of us, we drove, including Iron, four of us, including Iris. We drove to the hospital and um, I was in pain the entire time. And I remember thinking at the stoplights, because we had a few stoplights that we had to um, stop at. I remember... Every time we stop at these lights, we like every time we're at these lights, we never stop. Why is it that as soon as I'm in labor, these lights are red? I, like I remember thinking, oh my goodness, these lights are amazing. They're they're never red. Blah blah blah. Five a.m. in the morning, they're like on halt, and I it's like the longest. I don't know however many how many ever minutes or minute how however long you know the light is. And I'm just in pure pain. So I only had two lights to go through. The hospital was like 10 minutes away. The hospital felt like it was like an hour away. I don't know. 
it felt like, I don't know, it felt like somebody was taking my organs and just going like this, like, that's <laughs> like the worst pain in the world. Anyway, we finally arrived to the hospital. We didn't park because I couldn't walk anywhere else. I remember just walking enough to get through the door. And as soon as I walk through the, 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 the emergency door, I just started crying. Like I just, I'm not like regular cry as in like, oh my goodness, y'all help me. It was just like, oh, help me Lord Jesus, please. Whatever you can do to help me, just help me. And I remember like that everyone getting wheelchairs and the securities and everyone helping. And I was just crying, crying. like I could not, I couldn't stop myself. I finally went in to the back where they, you know, supposed to, supposed to check me or whatever. And I didn't, for some reason, I didn't want anyone to touch me. Everyone who touched me, it felt hot. I don't know if I'm the first person that ever like felt like that, but it felt like everyone who was touching me, it felt like really hot. Like I was like, like they were burning my skin or something. I know it was crazy. Anyway, so the nurse is like, I have to touch you in order to, I had the sweetest nurse because if I had me and I was her, I would just quit being a nurse at this point. I would have been like, you know what? This ain't for me. Like I don't have to deal with this shit. I wasn't quitting, but I was just like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> I could see myself now and I'm just like so miserable. Don't touch me. No one touch me. And, but also touch me because I need meds, <laughs> right? So she was like, in order to give you what you need, I need to touch you. And I'm just like, but don't touch me. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. Moving on, because that was crazy. Finally, um, the doctor came in and they needed to check my cervix. And I was three centimeters dilated. You could swear I was like nine centimeters, like about to give birth right there. I don't know what was wrong with me. Three centimeters. And they were like, okay, we have to admit her. And immediately after that, my water broke. So they were like, okay, we have to get her upstairs. Because everything was happening very, very fast. By the time as I got upstairs, I was four centimeters. So I was just downstairs. By the time I got back upstairs, I was it was four centimeters. I was four centimeters. And they had to put me on drips again. They were like, in order for us to give you, you know, your um, epidural, we're gonna have to you, we're gonna have to up give you drips. Like we have to touch you. And I was just like, no, don't touch me. And she I guess this other nurse came in who was more like, Ur. She was like, girl, we don't have to touch you. <laughs> We're gonna need to touch you in order to get you, you know, get you what you need. So I was just like, I remember holding my breath and like, cause it really felt like fire on my skin. So I remember holding my breath and they were like, after the drip is done, we'll be able to give you epidural. And I remember thinking, oh my God, this is gonna be the longest ever because the drips are like, honestly, forever. Um, for some reason, uh, my anesthesiologist came in and he was just like, we're going to give you an epidural. I was like, oh God, thank goodness. This is when I just got the drip. So, um, he was like, you have to keep perfectly still. I had an amazing anesthesiologist and, um, he was like, you have to keep perfectly still, which I did. And it was so painful to do. And I think I want to say five minutes in. I was just like smiling and my, my nurse was just like, yeah, it kicked in. <laughs> I remember the first smile I had on my face was five minutes in when they gave me the epidural. Um, I want to say immediately after that, the room was like in panic. Everybody was like everywhere. Everything was happening because apparently Iris's heart rate had dropped. And that happens. I watched it on, on Grey's Anatomy. They were like, most of the time, like what happens is that um, if you get an epidural, you're, there's a high chance of you having a C-section. So they put something up in me to check her heart rate. Um, they, were, they kept moving me around to see anything. And before you know it, 
they were like, we have to move into an emergency C-section. I was like, oh my goodness. I was so scared because I've never ever, prior to having Iris, I've never been admitted to the hospital, like ever. So I was scared. I had no reason to ever be in the hospital. So I was scared. And they were like pulling, they were like telling Derek to like pull stuff out of the, um, bed that I was hooked up to and I remember him just pulling a bunch of things out of nowhere and they had like the c-section room just ready for me so he couldn't come in at the time because he wasn't dressed or sterile or I don't know whatever and um I remember right yeah right and they were like they were like get the NICU ready because like her heart rate was, you know, it probably was, you know, was dropping and, and whatnot. So they went in. Yeah. 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 They went in. They cut me. Um, I remember just reaching for Derek. I was like, Derek, like I was so scared. It was just all really like a blur. And I remember when I got in there, I remember thinking, Oh my goodness, like they're gonna cut me and there's no baby in here. For like the longest time. I don't know why I thought that I wasn't really like like there was nothing in there. So for the longest time I just was like, they're cutting me and there's nothing in my belly right now. And I just remember them tugging and pulling. And they pull out like this like monster of a baby. Like she was almost eight pounds. I was just like, what is this yo? Like, wow. Like, even though I felt her moving in my belly, even though I hadn't, you know, I knew that she was in there. It was just like, like, dude, all of this baby was in my belly. Like, she was so big. So they pulled her out and um, cleaned her off and everything. And your girl came out perfectly healthy. There was no NICU, nothing. She was just heart rate was everything was perfect. Everything great. She was just ready i don't know what they cut me for because homegirl heart rate just instantly came back up nothing they were able to call derek back in to take her and let me see her and everything all of my guts on the bed apparently because derek was like he could see he could see all my everything so i was just on the bed and i remember thinking i knew that they'd cut me but i remember thinking that if derek's face says oh my god this is crazy i'm gonna i don't know how i'm gonna get off this table but i'm gonna drag myself off this table using my hands <laughs> and i'm gonna get out of here guts and everything hanging out because i remember if he looked scared i knew that i was gonna be terrified but he came in he looked and he was just like you're good and he never mentioned to me all the blood, all of my guts, and everything. They were acting as if it was a regular day in there. Everyone was like, oh, I'm talking about their day, blah, 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 X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. And I'm just like, oh, uh All right, you guys, so my battery died, and I didn't get a chance to finish my story, which I had to fill in. But I remember, like I said, I remember that feeling. I remember how I felt, and... I felt like if he had looked scared, then I was going to be terrified, which he wasn't. So everything was great. I was able, he was holding Iris um, so that I can touch her and look at her. And I remember just like touching her just to feel if she was real and embracing her and all of that stuff. Look at you. Look at yourself, mama. Look at yourself. And um, they were stitching me up and everything. He was able to take her to our room, to our bedroom our hospital room and I remember thinking to myself I was like how grateful I am because I knew for sure that I couldn't do a vaginal birth just because I just knew that I couldn't do it I knew that eventually they would have to cut me anyway because I knew I couldn't do it but I was just glad that they just got it over and done with so I went into labor at 5 30 and I had Iris at 8.30 a.m., 8.34 to be exact. So three hours later, I had baby girl in my hand. My aunt was like, I told you to go to the hospital right away <laughs> for reasons like this. But um, yeah, it was quick. Everything was super quick. 
everything. She came early. Everything. So there's still more story because I had to be admitted to the hospital again. And I'm going to get into that another time just because that was like terrifying. But everything turned out fine. Everything was okay. But yeah, I am... Um, I'm happy to say that we now have a bouncing baby girl, Iris Teresa Evans. Look at that. Hi, say hi. <laughs> She's like, yeah, no. <laughs> Not today, mommy, right? Not today. Anyway, you guys, my arm is killing me and um, we need to head to the store. So we're going to go to Sprouts right now. Oh, my God. My hand is killing me. Oh my God. All right, here we go. We're gonna go to Sprouts right now and um, yeah, grab our green juice. I'm gonna continue to vlog because that's what I've been doing for the past um, few days. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching because the story time was so quick. It was so, it was nice. It was filled quick. My, my camera died. Let me show you guys my... <laughs> my camera's like super dead. But, um, so for right now, me and baby girl are going to head out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that it was quick, but it was a really good story time. And, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys. Have a great day. Say bye.